Chris Sims was right about everything he had to say about Kellen Mond. Now, when I first saw Kellen Mond, I saw a kid that I thought was going to go undrafted, not good at all, and I just saw his goofy posture, then walked away, not thinking that he was any good. But when you look closer at it, this man is like a mix of Dak Prescott and Aaron Rodgers if you look at both of their tapes from college, because he's very similar to those players and has a ton of talent. Now let's get into why Chris Sims was right. So here he's going to put it in a position where only his wide receiver can get it. Let's just watch this one time right here. Did you guys see how he just flicks it? And I'll just say this a lot during the video, how he just flicks it and it comes off with so much velocity and power in a position where only his wide receiver can get it. Pretty good throw there from Mon. Now in this next clip, it's basically what me and Chris Sims see in him. It's such a beautiful quick release and it's just so on point with so much velocity and power. He's going through his progressions and the moment he sees his wide receiver open, it's just a little flick of the wrist as I said before. And these are the things that some people may not see because he didn't have the most talent around him and he was playing harder competition unlike other quarterbacks in this draft and he would make great throws like these NFL caliber throws all the time like right there that is a dot now if that's anywhere more in front of his wide receiver or tight end I think that's Watermeyer then his tight end is getting killed but that's right where it needs to be on the money in the basket. If you want a quarterback that can fit balls into tight windows, then your guy is Kellen Mond. He's been facing competition his whole college career, and he's never backed down from it once. I mean, this guy can throw complete lasers with the flick at the wrist, and that's basically what Chris Sims said, right? It's almost robotic, it's almost surgical. That's exactly what I see in him as well. And don't forget, he did beat Joe Burrow and Devin White in the LSU versus Texas A&M game in 2018 scoring 74 points and never backing down once right here again it's just a little flick at the wrist and the ball just goes flying with so much velocity and accuracy now here's something that he's gonna need to fix this is a great throw great release but his feet are not matching his upper body and his feet are kind of panicking right so it needs to stop the choppy feet right just work on your footwork and he will be absolutely fine because when under pressure it was weird because he has this great quick release but his feet would panic sometimes this is a great example of him playing with less talent as his tight end just completely drops this dime I mean this is a pretty bad drop now I'm not trying to bash the people he played with or anything like that but nobody else in this draft was in Mons position where yes they were playing against very hard competition but they also had less talent and yet he still won a solid amount of those games right here you're gonna see him versus LSU in 2018 this is the famous game where they went to seven overtimes but he really did step up in this game as I think he was a 19 year old because he's 21 years old now and he puts this ball perfectly where it needs to be and giving his wide receiver a great chance to go get it which the wide receiver obviously comes up with that catch now this is a throw that would go under the radar, right? Because we all know Texas A&M is not beating Alabama. He gets out of the pocket, escapes, and makes a perfect throw to his wide receiver right in his chest. On the run again, this is just such a nice throw. I personally think that he is a day one starter, but if you want to set him behind a quarterback that's older, well, he's only 21, so that could also work perfectly. So last clip right here, this is going to be another really great depot. He puts it in a position where his wide receiver can run and get it into that space. Really good as you see right there. And this is going to be really good coverage from Marco Wilson, but... Mon specializes in putting his wide receivers in a good position. So right there, another really great throw. So in recap, really great prospect. He has great arm talent, great legs. He has a very, very fast release, which you love to see. Now, I've heard Chris Sims say that he's more of a natural passer than Trevor Lawrence. I'm not sure how true that is, but I do believe that if given the right situation, he will be a great quarterback in the NFL. But let me know what you guys think about Kellen Mond because I know some of you guys may feel differently and that's okay. Again, just let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that is it for me on this one. Peace.